today we're just having a quick talk about porta potties. Now these can make uh, your boating experience and perhaps the experience of the people that are on the boat with you uh, a little more enjoyable. Now some boats, like a Cruisecraft 625, have a designated spot for this in the cab, up the front, in the V-berth. In the V-berth. Other boats don't have a designated spot, but you can put it literally anywhere. The reason why your toilet isn't going to smell is there is a couple of chemicals that we add to the toilet before it's used. One of them goes into the flushing tank and the other one goes into the holding tank. So these types of toilets are really for any sort of application, not only in your boat, but if you want to go camping on the beach or to a national park, you can keep this really safe and secure. They're lightweight, easy to move around and easy to store. So there's two main parts of these portable toilets. There's a top part of the toilet, and I think we all know what to do with this part. And then there's the bottom part, which is actually the holding tank and where all the waste is stored. So before you use the toilet, you'll fill it full of water through the, uh, the water filler here and add the appropriate chemical. And then when you use the toilet, you'll just use this handle, which is just to flush the water through to keep your toilet nice and clean. When the toilet's been used and it's time to empty it, it comes apart quite simply with these couple of latches. And you can see that the bottom part here is actually sealed up as well. So you're not going to end up with waste going all, all over the place. When it's time to empty your tank, there's waste stations uh, in almost every caravan park. They're often in, uh, in rest areas up and down the highways as well. You can also use your own toilet at home, provided it's not a septic system. To empty it, you just simply take the lid off, empty it out, then give it a rinse out, put your chemicals back in again, and then seal it up, ready for use next time. And here's what the chemicals look like that we use in the toilet. So there's a chemical that goes into the, uh, into the top tank, and that keeps the toilet nice and clean and smooth. And then we have these other chemicals that go into the, uh, into the waste part of the tank. That's the regular type, and of course there's an environmentally friendly one. Also important to use an environmentally friendly toilet uh, paper so it doesn't clog up any of the systems that you may put your waste into.